I have to start now because uh, I will have a visit, uh, visitation uh, in uh, FTMD yeah, uh, at around 2.30 now so I have to switch a uh, zoom um, do you want a quiz or not or maybe for exercise yeah tomorrow okay so after this I will give you uh, a usually it was a quiz but uh, yeah I can give you as, as an exercise so after I explain and then uh, you can also uh, get the uh, exercise for tomorrow okay all right and regarding the tri column presentation I just uh, talk to Fatia yeah Fatia can you uh, can you ask your friends uh, where where are uh, your option for a tri column presentation uh, yes Ibu I will discuss in the group after our class okay okay yeah so I just have a few bit uh, left few few hours left uh, next next week so uh, let me know uh, when you have time for the presentation for the trade column all right um okay so let's uh, share screen right so uh, last week we talked about um, just I'm just gonna give you this is an example of um, cross or, or a batch process yeah or uh, we can call it cross flow extraction we can call it um, batch uh, to two stage extraction okay so uh, just remember uh, just to remind you about the steps uh, all um, um, I think I'm, I'm gonna show you the uh, typical uh, this one this is the the quiz that I will give you tomorrow yeah uh, I, ca I can call it quiz because I will uh, would I would like to check your work and also I would um, uh, to examine yeah I can deny but uh, then uh, I uh, but feel free if you want to talk with your friend and try to solve it okay so this is a typical uh, quiz or also typical question in exam uh, so here uh, for example we had a feed uh, contain 30 uh, percent weight of solute in a solvent a and it is extracted by pure B and then it is uh, carried out in batches and then you need to find the extract mass in um, kilogram uh, and also in the composition and also the raffinate maize in kilogram and in, uh, at the composition which is resulted from the uh, the second batch extraction so uh, usually we we need to draw the graph so we can read the which one going to the extract which one going to be in the raffinate but before we draw the or before we sketch the graph uh, always reverse to the uh, always reverse to the schematic or the uh, yeah always refer to the schematic of this one okay so uh, for example I'm gonna uh, give you back about that one for tomorrow uh, but let me just explain a little bit about this one and then uh, I'll try to, to uh, explain it uh, carefully there okay yeah so maybe I can I, can, I think I'm gonna use the ruler yeah okay so uh, the first one you need you need to know the concept okay uh, doing the calculation is gonna be okay and uh, I think you should be able to use those a ruler a pencil and paper for some times yeah in the distillation module or in the absorption module so now the important the, the important things is the concept Okay, so we have the feed, yeah, let's say this is the feed, so the feed usually only contain the C. Remember the vertical one, so this one, the vertical one is the uh, percentage of C. So usually in the feed, you will have uh, some percentage of C around here, 
and the remaining is the uh, A, okay? And then uh, there is no B, so because this is B, so the uh, this is the horizontal one. Uh, is the percentage of B. Usually in the feed there is no B or the uh, the extractor, the liquid extractor. For example, we have um, tea in water, uh, and then we want to extract with the organic solvent. In the in the first one in the feed there is no organic solvent in the in the feed. So uh, here uh, this one is the uh, feed. Okay, got it. Yeah, the next one, uh, it is mixed by the solvent, S means solvent. Okay, and then it is mixed together. Okay, so the solvent contains 100% of B, uh, then uh, this is the 100% of B. Okay, the mixture should be in a line somewhere along this uh, points between B and F. So uh, let uh, me let me try to read to just draw again the uh, shapes or the the line from B. So sketch a line, oops, uh, from there into the F. Perhaps that is the the line. Okay, so uh, the uh, this tells you that looks like a little bit mirroring here. Yeah? Okay, okay. So this tells you that uh, the feed and the solvent will have a mixture with some composition along this line. Okay, and the way uh, to know which one in uh, to know which one is the M uh, or the, the mixture points is based on the uh, feed uh, to solid ratio. Okay, so we have to know the feed. We have to know also the solvent ratio. Okay, so let's say the feed is 100, uh, the solvent is 50, so the feed, for example, 2 over 1. Okay, to uh, know the uh, to know which one is the solvent or uh, which one is the M you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, measure with uh, this one here with this line uh, which one going to the feed and also using the solvent using the left rule okay uh, I think I can make it bigger like that okay yeah so, because uh, this is there are two parts in the feed, for example, and one sol uh, one a part in the solvent, then there are three parts. So let's uh, uh, measure the line between B and F or the S and F, and uh, divide it into three uh, places. So uh, I'm gonna go back here, and then I just want to uh, draw. Uh, Oops, sorry, which one? Okay. So, because I want to know the length. So, my, my length is 7. The width is 7.92. Okay, 7.92. Uh, 92 so around 8 so maybe just I'm just uh, gonna have rough yeah a really really rough uh, calculation so I have to divide it to 3 for example this is decided div divided to 3 just really rough calculation my, by my eyes let's say so uh, I divide them into three parts yeah 
uh, because this is the two part and one part. So, what do you think? Uh, where is the M? The upper one or the lower one? Where is the point M? The upper one or the lower one? The upper one, Bu. Yeah, good. Why the upper one? Because it's left roll, yeah? Uh, left roll, Bu. Yeah. You have yes, two parts in the feet, so your line should be uh, for the uh, the contrary of this left roll should be two parts. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, and after that, uh, what is the next step once you got the mixture? So this is the mixture point. This tell you the amount of uh, the M and also uh, the composition of the M. So if we, for example, uh, this uh, make a uh, make a sample uh, from this mixer and then try to to check the composition, the composition would lies along these points. And then you can read it to this way: a how much percentage of C to this way: how much percentage percentage of uh, A and then the remaining is the B okay um, uh, sorry uh, this one is the yeah this B, B sorry the percentage of B and the remaining is the A okay uh, the next step uh, we have to find after uh, those M we have to find the uh, the equilibrium right because it should be in the equilibrium so we have to find let's say the uh the equilibrium like this one so for example i'm just gonna draw back to here so let's say uh using the tie line uh i can get uh, an equilibrium like like that so so for example just let's say this is the tie line Okay, and uh, this is a tie line. Then you can find, so which one is, the, I have uh, the one that is pink over here, and I will have the blue one over here. So, uh, now I would like to ask for the blue one is it an extract or is it a raffinate? Uh, raffinate bu. Raffinate. How about the others? Yeah, raffinate. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. So this is called raffinate. Yeah. Uh, the pink one is the extract. Okay. You can show, usually the extract should have percentage of a higher percentage of C compared to raffinate. Of course, when we want to do the extraction, we want the, the solute to be extractable in the, in the extract. Okay, so, so uh, maybe sometimes there are something like that, yeah, the, the raffinate, but it's, it's, not, it's, it's uncommon, yeah? The common one that you have the raffinate like this. Uh, this one if you have the tie line what happened if you don't have the the exact timeline what what should you do for example are uh, you're in here okay for example you are in here and your point is around here how to get the tie line in this point yeah uh, one things that you can do is to f do to use um, uh, interpolation. Okay, let's say you want to have uh, an example. Yeah, for example, you have uh, the point M, and you want to find uh, find the tie line. So you have to do interpolation between those two tie lines, which is. Uh, between the M, okay? The way to do that is to uh, draw a line uh, from the bottom and also from the top. Mm. 
there okay so let's say just uh, add the line and then maybe this to the this way oops mm, yeah like that and also draw another line from the top okay this is very important for your uh, sample yeah because sometimes your uh, M is lies not in the tie line the point of the tie line okay so the uh, lower a line for the tie line and also the upper line of the tie line in, near the the m usually would uh have uh you know uh, sub uh, intersect in one point okay and then uh the next one when you want to find the tie line that has your m uh you, what you need to do is just to put start from the point there and then go back there okay so uh, that is your tie line got it so uh, uh, so that is your tie line that passed the uh, m yeah so this is going to be the extract and this is the refinite okay that's also similar if you have for example this m around here so you want to find the tie line uh, that passing the lower one and also the high one okay so th that's gonna be one case right uh, and once you have the M and then you can uh, calculate again um, so to answer the question you want to find the uh, for example uh, the, the question for example so uh, how much is refinate how, how to calculate that so the uh, the, the amount of a uh, refinet that you will got and also the extract that you will get again uh, uh, you're gonna use the lever rule okay so the the extract uh, and divided by the refinate uh, would be equal to the uh, the length of uh, this line yeah because it is just uh, converts to the extractor um, mr divided by m e okay and don't forget the uh, extract uh, plus raffinate equal to a feed and solvent okay yeah i think uh i'll just kind of stop it here um maybe you want to find the if you want if you want you want to you can uh maybe just uh i can put a one pdf to you here so you can have an idea about this one and uh, i'm gonna add uh, uh the uh the quiz for tomorrow i'm just gonna put it into the zoom now so you who uh, know you who do the just follow my uh, lecture now can have a look yeah this one okay so in the meantime if you have time uh, before tomorrow's classes uh, please uh, see this uh, just uh i think you just need to uh, uh, let me draw the uh, print the number six and seven mm, maybe four five five six seven yeah or maybe all maybe all of them okay no 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 no, no. <laughs> not this one i should print screen okay so this is uh, it is not quiz but 
uh, if you want to uh, try to uh, find uh, just check this rather than uh, waiting for my recording yeah it's gonna be a while maybe tomorrow I'll just uh, put uh, into the YouTube uh, you can have a look on this uh, this one here and then uh, try to do it by yourself on your uh, the quiz number one it, it's really up to you if you want to have a rest and then I'm gonna see you tomorrow that's fine but if you want to use your uh, half hours time before your next class you can also try using that one yeah the quiz right okay uh, any questions no so so dama damalia so i just talked to uh, fatia regarding the schedule for the tri column i just give my uh, available schedule for next week just not not much but uh yeah just have a look if you have time for for the tri column presentation yeah the soon you get the the presentation the better because it i will give you a lot of uh, recommendation for your uh, next uh, assignments about the pet column as well so you can incorporate that in your uh, uh, next report and your reports going to be much better compared to the first one all right anyone so I apologize I can't be uh, use all the time uh, all the time uh, that uh, given to me up, up to three o'clock I should switch the zoom and uh, I think I should I should stop now okay one final question any question no right can you receive all the uh, uh, the printout and also the quiz uh, yes, you do. okay right all right then thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow bye bye thank you Ibu. thank you, Ibu. Thank you. Thank you.